Hey guys, it's North Pole Penguins here. Firstly, I want to thank everyone for the amazing support of my previous video. You cannot begin to imagine how grateful I am to all of you. I want to talk about something different in this video, but which I feel needs to be discussed. Today I'll be talking about the novel coronavirus, NCOV 2019, and the effects surrounding its potential origin, spread, media, and misinformation. I'll be comparing these events to the film Contagion as I feel there's strong parallelisms between events surrounding the MEV1 outbreak in the film to the novel coronavirus. Contagion is a surprisingly scientifically accurate film, containing a few rudimentary epidemiological constructs and models important for understanding the spread of disease. This will contain spoilers to the film Contagion, so if you haven't already seen it, it may be a good time to watch it. With that being said, let's jump in and break these down. The first very quick observation is the origin of the viruses. MEV1 and NCOV 2019 both originate from China. MEV1 originated from a disrupted infected fruit bat infecting a pig through dropping a piece of banana, which the pig eats. The virus mutates in the pig and is then transmitted to a human host when a chef butchers the pig and greets the first infected case with his bloody hands. Although not confirmed yet, it is likely that the origin of NCOV 2019 also originated in bats due to genetic similarities with similar coronaviruses which also cause respiratory syndromes. On the topic of virus type it is important to note that whilst the MEV1 virus caused respiratory syndromes it was of a completely separate family of viruses called Paramyxoviridae whereas NCOV 2019 virus is of the family Coronaviridae. Okay so we've just discussed origin and type now let us focus on the virus spread of diseases. MEV1 was apparently spread through a number of transmission vectors, including droplets from coughing producing micro droplets, human to human contact, and formites, contaminated inanimate objects like handrails, and could be spread asymptomatically. The World Health Organization has stated that NCOV 2019 is likely to be similar to SARS or MERS with its spread, and that it also transmits through droplets, contact, and formites. And there's evidence proving that NCOV can also spread asymptomatically. An important piece here, which is extensively discussed in the film, is that we touch our face on average 3,000 times per day, which is just over two times per minute. Touching your face after interacting with people, public objects, or eating food without washing your hands is a very common vector for disease spread. Contagion discusses the concept of R0, or the basic reproductive number. The R0 of an infection describes the average number of people an infected person will infect over the course of a disease's infectious period. MEV1 had an R0 in the film of about 4, which means that an infected person would on average infect up to 4 people. Although it is early days at the moment, the NCOV 2019 virus thus far has an R0 between 1.4 and 5, and is most likely sitting around 3.2. Both MEV1 and NCOV 2019 have been shown to be similar in a few areas with respect to spread. However, there are a number of differences between them. Firstly, MEV1 has a very fast incubation period of about 2 days, whereas NCOV 2019 has an incubation period between 2 and 14 days. The fatality rate of MEV1 was 25%, whereas NCOV 2019, at the time of recording, has a fatality rate of about 2.2%. The longer incubation period, coupled with asymptomatic spread and lower fatality rate of NCOV 2019, increases the theoretical likelihood of viral spread. MEV1 caused encephalopathy, leading to death of its victims. However, death from NCOV 2019 seems to come from complications from pneumonia, exacerbating pre-existing chronic conditions, or kidney failure. Finally, we are to discuss the media events surrounding the two viruses. I want to start on a positive part in recognising how much Dr. Tedros Adhanom of the WHO who declared the state of emergency with respect to the NCOV 2019 virus. Looks like Dr. Alice Cheever played by Lawrence Fishburne, even down to the mustache. All right, now that is out of the way, let's move on to something a little dark. Profiting from the deaths of scared, naive people. That's what conspiracist Adam Crumwade, played by Jude Law, does in Contagion by profiting from the sale of fake herbal cure, Pasithia. He then actively tries to prevent his followers from becoming vaccinated against the virus, as this would impact his bottom line. Unfortunately, this draws some dark parallels to what is happening with NCOV 2019 today. There have been a myriad of bullshit cures for NCOV 2019. A recent one which includes a person by the name of Swami Chakrapani Maharaj, who said to drink cow urine and feces. This is incredibly dangerous, as not only is this bullshit, the very real dangers of acquiring infections like Giardia, Cryptosporidium, E. coli, ringworm, rabies, Salmonella, and a myriad of others, all of which can be life-threatening from the ingestion of cow urine and feces. This particular parallel is very disappointing to see, and honestly, I'm more than disgusted. I know about the anti-vax, anti-government nonsense, but for many people to go out of their way to profit by giving false advice at a time like this, it's just despicable. 
In conclusion, I hope you've all learned something about the potential viral origins of NCOV 2019, its spread and the red herrings which currently and will likely continue to muddy the path of humanity curbing this disease. I hope that you have all enjoyed the parallels between and contrasts to the film Contagion. And until next time guys, be well and stop touching your face.